What's interesting about being a SEAL, you know, my job was one in which uh, my competition tried to kill me on a daily basis. And one of the things I talk about whenever I go into businesses is that every business has competition, right? It, it's clear you have competition. Sometimes you even know the name of that competition, but rarely is that competition trying to take your life. Yet in our world, our life, our competition tried to kill us on a daily basis. And most of the time they were really good at it, right? They'd been spent the, spending their entire lives in horrible environments uh, learning to fight. On top of that, they didn't send us anywhere nice, right? They only send SEALs to, if you could put an X on the worst places in the globe, that's where they send us. And on top of that, so we've got competition tries to kill us. We're in the world's worst environments and we're really expensive, right? So a SEAL to get to the point of actually producing a return on investment for the Navy is anywhere from eight, nine hundred thousand dollars to well over a million dollars in cost of training. And you have a 16 man unit, that means you've got 25, 30 million dollars at risk every time you put a SEAL into the field or a SEAL team into the field. Therefore, the Navy's not gonna risk that unit unless all the cheaper units can't do it. So in reality, we only get missions that everyone else said was impossible, right? All the cheaper units had to say, nope, that's impossible, nope, that's impossible, and then it gets to us. So in a world where our competition tries to kill us on a daily basis, it's the world's worst environments, and we only get impossible missions, that was the day, that was the environment I went to work with, work in on a daily basis. And well, the way I measure my success is, is threefold. Uh, first and foremost, every time that we made a commitment to meet some sort of standard of performance, right? Every time we got a mission and we said, yes, we'll undertake that mission, I was successful 100% of the time. That means that every time that I made a commitment, we as a team met that commitment. And I know from working in the civilian worlds, Rarely am I around someone that, that does that for a week, much less their entire career. Uh, the second way I measure my success is that every one of my SEALs that I brought into the field got home, every single one of them. And to me, that was the most important part of how I measure my success because yes, our job was to complete missions, but more importantly, being able to lead my men into success while continuing to take care of them is huge. And uh, the last one and one of the most important ones for me is that uh, I can look back on every choice that I made in the SEALs and, and I'm, uh, I feel honor in what I did and in the choices that I made, especially in some really hard situations. And so those three methods are how, how I measure my success. And the most important part of it is that success didn't come from me, right? My individual knowledge or skill or ability to lead was not the most important thing. The most important thing was how we as a team coordinated action. And that's what enabled us to, to really pull off the impossible on a regular basis.